Hey, what's up guys? My name's Sam and I'm here to, uh, to kind of fill in a niche that I think is much needed nowadays. Yeah, you're scrolling through social media and you see what looks like the worst recipe anybody's ever made. I'm here to make it and let you know that, yeah, you were right. <laughs> it tastes like shit most of the time. <laughs> I, I pretty much predict this ain't gonna be good. The, I'm, <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean, how else how old am I supposed to make it? <laughs> this one had to have been a joke. There's no, oh God, I got the mustard diarrhea as if this couldn't get any worse. And what's with that sauce? There's like a third mystery sauce in that picture that just looks like beer shits. There's no way about it, all right? That just looks like beer shits if I've ever seen it. You know, I'm going to eat like a good two inches of this thing before I even get to the condiments and bread. Bread split down the middle. Um, yeah, uh, not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> You can't try to capture the essence of a good food like this with a, you know, with a vegetable. It's wrong. It's morally wrong. <laughs> In order for something to taste as good as a goddamn hot dog or a burger, it has to come with murder. Now, I'm going to take one more bite of this because I didn't quite get like a, like a, uh, you know, one with like a good amount of mustard and ketchup on it. That, maybe that'll make it better. Maybe that maybe I'll turn around and be a fan after giving the most scathing review. <laughs> I don't care how big of a fan of cucumbers you are, how big a fan of hot dogs you are, the two don't go together. Okay? It'll be a hundred degrees outside and this ain't gonna be refreshing either. It's come to my attention that some people are going to think that that is not a cucumber, it's actually a pickle. Um, even though there was vegans in the comments that were saying, oh no, it's definitely a cucumber. Cucumbers work best. So uh, for argument's sake, vegan hot dog going down. It's actually better. It's better. I'd rather eat this if I was vegan, for sure. Look at this, I'm not, I'm not even fucking vegan, I'm improving their shitty recipes. Yeah, just use a pickle, dumbass. Next one is, uh, is a picture we've all seen. We've all seen it, and in, in polite company, we'll go, oh, Ghastly! Ghastly, sir, I would never dare! And then uh, in private, you're going, There might be something to that sandwich there. Oh, how serendipitous. Tonight, I made burgers. This should be easy. Big burger, put it down on cookie. Whoa, instant replay on that. Che che cookie cheeseburger going in. Ugh. Three out of ten. This next one, I'm curious whether or not it's going to harm me in any way. It's called dishwasher salmon. Apparently, some guy realized that you can cook salmon in your dishwasher while you're washing your dishes. It was demonstrated by Vincent Price in 1975 on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Now, and I'll tell you what you do put it in. Here it is, the dishwasher. And Price said, it's a dish any fool can prepare. So I should be able to, I should be able to do this. 
Before we move on, Vincent Price is like the funniest one-liner on this show. Listen to this. Is you bone that well? That's the thing that I do not. Well, feel. that's just something you have to learn how to do. I've been married so many times. I've learned how to bone yes. anything. Dishwasher companies and Consumer Reports have recommended against cooking fish with a dishwasher because dishwashers are not designed or tested for cooking. Dishwashers do not have temperatures as consistent as stoves, and it's uncertain whether or not dishwashers will heat fish sufficiently to kill pathogens. Foodborne illness may be the result. Uh, now I'm just gonna wrap this up and throw it in the dishwasher, which I'm assuming is happening right behind me. Yep, right there in the old top rack. And, uh, and then it cooks for like an hour. <laughs> this, thing, this thing has to be overcooked by the time it gets out. Two hours later. Our dishwasher salmon is out of the uh, dishwasher and ready to be dined upon. It does have some water in there, some water penetrated, a good deal of it. Christ, I don't have enough paper towels here. It's not an actual kitchen, guys. It's just it's my office. So I got toilet paper <laughs> that'll, Oh, it's leaving little white shreds of paper everywhere. Dear Christ, this thing's hemorrhaging water. On to, fuck, this one's spilling water everywhere too. You know what, we're just gonna have to deal with a little bit of water for now, guys. Oh my. Okay, okay. That looks, uh... Is that cooked? That's raw, that is just raw as fish, dude. That's not cooked. I know, it's kind of like, it's weird. It, it does flake apart. Steam salmon. Have you taken a bite? I have not taken a bite. Okay, good. There's been enough throw up and diarrhea in this house this week. <laughs> Please don't eat that. I don't want you guys thinking I'm some sort of like negative Nancy that all he does is, is shit on other people's food. All right. I will never make a criticism if I don't have a resolution. Do you guys remember that episode where I made the, the, the tri-witch? It was a sandwich with three sides. Innovative. Taking food places it hasn't gone before. I liked the idea, but I felt like he didn't capitalize on the newness of it. The fact that he was breaking new ground. He wasn't working with just one layer of ingredients anymore. The tri-witch has possibilities. And I'm here to build on that. The difference between this Tri-Witch and the previous Tri-Witch is that this Tri-Witch is going to switch each layer of ingredients up. One slice will be Nutella, one slice will be peanut butter with honey. If you guys have ever had a peanut butter and honey sandwich, that is a classic addition. And the last side will be banana and peanut butter. Have you guys seen those people that are like, that insist that you're supposed to pinch the other end of the banana? And they always, they always go like this. They go, monkeys, monkeys, with, when they eat bananas, they pinch the other side. Yeah, that's who I'm gonna follow advice from. A fucking monkey. You know what else monkeys do? They finger each other's assholes and lick it. Why don't you try, why don't you try doing that, dumbass? I don't even have to put the rest of this together. I know it's gonna be a slam dunk. Just look at it. Beautiful. Create a steeple with your opposing pieces of bread. So you come together like you're gonna make a house of cards? Wrong. You fold these and you mush them. Then you have yourself a tri-witch. That's a tried and true tri-witch right there. Now, you can rotate and eat from each respective side. Each one better than the last. Just a bunch of slam dunks all the way around. Like, you can't go wrong with this. Oh, could use a bevy though. This guy posted this meal that his wife made and it's, um, it just seems like something so out of time. This is just like a, like colonial era. This is like, like a Jamestown meal, you know? Uh, I didn't even know buckwheat was a real thing. And so I found it in the, it's in the international food aisle for us because nobody eats this shit anymore. But it turns out it's just some sort of like grain. Like an, it says ancient grain on it. That's how you know it's old as fuck. It, this is what buckwheat looks like. Uh, just, it looks like chopped up almonds or something. I don't know. 
Does this fit on there? I, ran, I found a random lid. Not really, it doesn't fit at all. This is a real, as you can tell, high budget cooking show. Uh, that's why I want, you know, Food Network to pick me up, you know. It, all they have to do is give me a measly budget of 25 million a year. This is like gruel, you know? Like nobody makes gruel anymore. What happened to that? It seems I forgot a very important, crucial step. You're supposed to take the buckwheat and you're supposed to strain it over water so that uh, it gets rid of all the diarrhea color. It's all done, man, does that look good? That looks so tasty. All right, now the other part of this dish is oysters. Now I don't have oysters. I got clams. I don't know if there's much of a difference between oysters and clams, but um, when I was at the grocery store and I got to where the oysters are, there was just a guy parked right in front of them in like one of those little little rascals. And I was like, uh, you know, I waited for a minute and I was kind of behind him and he wasn't moving. He wasn't making any move. And they, God, these things reek. Dear God. Anyways, the guy in the little rascal, I like went over to his front and he was like right there next to the oysters. And I made like a move like, can I grab the oysters? Like you're blocking it. And he was just like, in his little rascal. <laughs> so I, you know, in, in that scenario, like, what do you do? Do you shake them? You know, I don't think you do that. Uh, so I went with the clams. All right, delicious buckwheat and clams coming up. God. I'm gonna go for a little clam right now, a little clam action. No? With my buckwheat. You know what? Believe it or not, I am not a mussels guy at all. The insane saltiness of the clam helps to mask the fact that I, I, the buckwheat tastes like you're eating. <laughs> Fuck it, spit everywhere. Buckwheat tastes like you're eating like roots. Uh, but this seriously, uh, Jesus Christ, everybody needs to pray for those Amish kids out there because I think they're still eating this stuff. They haven't upgraded yet to Kraft Mac and Cheese. Where is this shit still eating? That's what we got to figure out. Yeah, if it didn't suck being Russian enough, check this out, dude. They're the like only people that eat this shit. <laughs> By the way, I, I really did fuck up here because my rendition of the meal pictured looks worse than the meal pictured. Like <laughs> theirs actually looks somewhat appetizing. Mine, I, I forgot to wash the damn buckwheat and I didn't get oysters. I got little clams and they look like just little meat boogers hiding down there in the buckwheat. If I was in a cult, where I had no idea other foods existed. I could eat this. You could feed this to me every day. If, the, if I thought there was literally nothing else on the planet to eat, I'd eat this. I would try everything else. I would try to eat my pillow, my garments, my shoes that I'm wearing. I would try to eat everything else to get away from this. But ultimately, if I had to, I could eat this. A lot of, a lot of weevil infested energy coming from this meal. What a, what a truly sickening dish. Yeah, this one's, this one's a real uh, t uh, two out of 10. Anyways, thanks for watching and check out my podcast. Make the Ford Fables movie one day. Uh, awesome. Do you think Liam Neeson would play us or do you think it would be? I think probably Brad Pitt would play you. <laughs> Yeah. And Top Gun Miles Teller would play me, most realistically. Mm, I think, actually, I want mm. Mel Gibson to play me. I want I want his okay. comeback story to be through my I'm film. I'm playing a what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Who's that off-brand Matt Damon guy from Breaking Bad? Jesse Plemons? Yes, I mean, get him. He would be good, too. I mean, yeah. he's actually a really good actor, he too. Is. So yeah. he would do a good job conveying all your emotional <laughs> yeah. levels. Yeah. Horny, angry, <laughs> <laughs> laughing. All the normal you, human experience. Honestly, if I was going to be like an actor, those are the two things I would try to, I would practice. Channel. Yeah, I would try to. <laughs> God, <laughs> fuck so I'm bad. angry and I'm horny. I don't have much <laughs> range, but those two things, you need a part played like that? Opposite ends of the spectrum. Kind, no. No, kind of, they're so. on, for me, they're on the same. Oh, and you confuse this obstacle. I'm trying to heat up and melt like a popsicle. I
tell them anything's possible Especially when I'm toting on the tropical uh, And I make you say sorry when I'm robbing you One for the money, two fuck you I'm the hottest thing running through the city Believe that, I don't ever relax I be with a green act Who give a fuck about a hater, say the feedback Look, small, 